Hey guys, so as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a shelf tour of my shonen manga collection in Japanese. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do a overview first, and then like I did in the previous video, I'm going to put this on a tripod, and I'll go through in detail of all the manga that I have. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And this here is the fourth and final row. Just a small section of Japanese manga here because the rest of it is in English. So now that we're done with the overview, let's go ahead and put this on a tripod and I'll show you what I have in detail. Alright, so this is the first row of my Japanese shonen manga collection. I have it organized by publisher. This one here is uh, Koro Koro Comics. It's basically like a more childish version of uh, Shonen Jump, so it's meant kind of more for really young elementary school students. But I still enjoy reading them, I think they're really funny, at least some of them are. But anyways, to start with, I'm going to go from left to right, and uh, first up I have here is Fuku Fuku Tonyan. This is not, actually not part of Koro Koro Comics, I just have it up here just because. Um, I have three volumes of Fuku Fuku Funyan. So this series is by Konami Kanata, and um, you might know this author's work from Chi Sweet Home. It's by the same author. So three volumes of Fuku Fuku. And um, what I like about this is the reading is very, very easy, as you can see. It's barely any text. Makes it pretty simple to read. That's one of the reasons why I like Fuku Fuku, and it's really cute. So now we're moving into Koro Koro Comics. Um, I have an Animal Crossing manga. Um, only this time it features a boy as the main character instead of a girl, because it's from Koro Koro Comics. This is Tobidase Dobutsu no Mori. I have one to two of this series. I'm pretty behind on the releases. There's at least six volumes out now. Next up I have here is Hoshi no Kirby. I have a couple of Kirby manga. And each of these series is at least 20 volumes, which is why I only have two volumes. But I really do like Kirby manga, I just don't have the shelf space to hold 20 volumes per series right now. Then I have here Dodo Do Dodge. This is only a two volume series, so I do need to pick up the final volume. I do like this series, it's pretty cool. Um, then I have Sado Get You, just a silly four coma series of the complete series, one to nine. And here's just a quick little preview. It's just a silly four coma manga of Super Monkey Ball. This series has made me laugh several times. And the next up I have here is 100% Pascado Sensei. This one volume. Pretty behind on the releases of this one. Alright, next up I have here is Super Mario Ken. Volume 1 to Volume 3. I still need to put on uh, book covers for Volumes 2 to 3. Um, as you can see on the top here, there's like a clear plastic cover that I have protecting the, the covers. So they're called book covers in Japan. But yeah, I have uh, volumes 1 to 3 of Super Mario Kun, and uh, I would like to get the rest of it. I might not collect the whole series because I heard it gets uh, kind of bad after like volume 15 or something like that. So I might just collect up to where it stops getting good, and yeah, just go from there. Next up I have here is Punyo Punyo Yusha Miami Miami. I'm almost uh, done collecting this series, but sadly the last two volumes have gone out of print now. 
So it took too long to decide on if I want to get the last two volumes, but I'm hoping if I get a book off, I'll find it there. Or uh, Kinokuniya, something like that. I'll do my best to try to hunt them down. Then I have Stand Up, Volume 1, up to Volume 3, Complete. This was actually one of the first manga I was able to read on my own in the Koro Koro 2009 um, run. Because I have the complete 2009 Koro Koro magazine set, I had a subscription for it for one year. And uh, that's where I read this series, as well as uh, Sada Get You. I read both of them in um, Koro Koro 2009, as well as Super Mario Ken. Um, so yeah, that's where I got introduced to those series. And I really enjoy them all so far. Next up I have here is Kimeto no Yoyo. One to two, and I believe there's only three volumes. And I'm pretty sure volume three is now out of print, so I'll do my best to find that book off and complete the series. And uh, I like that this was about a yo-yo. I thought that was pretty neat. Don't really see many series about yo-yos. Um, so yeah, anyways, moving on. I have here Donaimon Plus. Just have one volume. Then I have a Yokai Watch, um, I guess art book sort of thing. Not really too sure what to call it. But this is all in color. It's kind of like uh, the Pokemon Pokedex, but only with yokai. That's kind of like what this is. It's like a yokai dex. And it's all in color, which is pretty neat. So I have volumes 1 to 5 of, this, of those. And I really need to get the rest of whatever's out. And I have, speaking of Yokai Watch, I have Yokai Watch Volume 1, up to Volume 6. And I'm like halfway behind on the releases. Yokai Watch, maybe a little bit more. But, anyways, that's the first row. I'm gonna move on down to the second row where I will show you guys all my Shonen Jump comics. Alright, so this is all my Shonen Jump comics that I have. Um, first up, I'm actually going to show you guys a illustration book of Nanatsu no Taizai. I really like this illustration book. It's really cool. And um, it actually doesn't have a dust jacket, but I put a book cover over it to protect it. I really like some of the illustrations in here. And you can probably still pick this up on Amazon.co.jp if you're interested in books like this. But I got it for, let's see, 690 yen. It says right here. So yeah, you can probably get it from Amazon Japan. It's a pretty cool little art book. Anyways, moving on. I have Dragon Ball SD, Volume 1 up to volume 3. I'm pretty behind on the releases of this series as well. I need to get more of it. Um, and what I actually like about it is that it's all in color. As you can see, it's very cool. Then I have Dragon Ball, the original release, volume 6. This is actually the very first uh, Japanese manga I ever owned, and that was probably back when I was in middle school. Um, so this one here is volume 18, and then I have Dragon Ball Color. I really do need to get more of this series. It's quickly going out of print, which kind of sucks. So I really like this idea. So I'll probably have to find these at Book Off if I can. I really like these a lot. They have Dragon Ball and then they have of the Saiyan Saga. The Frieza Saga was the first one to go out of print, which is unfortunate. I really want to get a hold of the whole collection of those. And they have um, an anime manga of Battle of the Gods. So a look inside here. And then I have the Bakuman character book. 
The next up I have here is the complete series of Magical Tadaru Dokun. And for whatever reason, I have two copies of Volume 1. Um, I think what happened was I had Volume 1 for a while, and then I got the complete set from Amazon Japan. So that's how I acquired two volumes of Volume 1. But anyway, here is Volume 1. And here is the final volume, 21. It's a pretty simple manga to read. I found anyway, which is why I got the whole series. And here's a little look inside. And that's Magical Tadaritokun. And then I have um, Magico volumes 1 and 2. And I really want to get a hold of the rest of this series, however it's out of print, so it's pretty hard to find. Um, I'll have to see if I can find it at Book Off. There, there's so many series I need to try to find this while I'm at Book Off, but I really like the art style for Magico. Here's the, some of the art. There's a little insert there that just fell out. Anyway, it's a really cool story. I really like it a lot. Let's see, a little insert that fell out. Alright, so take two on this part. I actually just noticed when I watched the clip back that my TV cord was in the way. So, anyway, let's get right on to the rest of this row. I have Jajolion, Volume 1. And I actually found this, <laughs> this series to be pretty difficult to read. It has pretty lengthy conversations, as you can see. It's like too much for me to read right now. It looks like a pretty cool manga, but it's like I, I'm, my Japanese is not really that good yet. I'm probably like stuck in between N5 and N4 at the moment. And I have Nisekoi Volume 1, Beelzebub Volume 1 up to Volume 3. I wish they would license this series. And I have Stars Volume 1. This is another one I wish they would license. Viz or somebody. I have Kurogane Volume 1. And I have a couple of illustration books. I have Haikyuu. And I have the Alna Exorcist Color Bible. But I can give you all some kind of like a sneak preview of the illustrations in here. If you're really into Haikyuu, this is a really cool illustration book of all the characters. Anyway, this is how much I got it for in Japan. Six fifty plus tax. And here's the color bible. This I got from Kinokuniya in New York. Got it for around twenty bucks, and it's cheaper to buy it in Japan. So here's um. Just a few pages of the color bible. I might do a full flip through of this art book if you guys are interested. I have done art book flip throughs before. But this is all in color, except for like the interview pages. But that's like a good chunk of the book that's in color. So yeah, that's uh, all my Shonen Jump comics, now I'm going to move on to the third row. And I have a bunch of Tental Mushi comics, um, and yeah, and there's some action comics, and a bunch of other good stuff. So anyways, um, let's get right on to it. Okay, so this is the um, third row. This has all my taller manga. Um, anyway, let's get right on to it. First up I have here is Mishishi Volume 8, and the reason why 
I have this volume it is because a friend of mine was moving away and he decided to give it to me. So that's how I got that volume. Next up I have here is the Otobato Volume 1. I really like this series, very simple to read. I really want to get more of it in Japanese. Next up I have here is Pocket Monster Special, Volume 1. And Volume 7. Another manga I want to get more of. Then I have the complete series of Dobutsu no Mori, Hohinda Mura Daiori. Volume 1 to Volume 12, that's the final volume. And one thing I liked about uh, this series is that one, it's pretty simple to read. And Volume 4 actually has some color pages at the at the front. It's got a bunch of them. So that's pretty neat. Next up I have here is Mina no Dobutsu no Mori. And um, I don't think there's any more after volume one. I think it got cancelled. It's been many years since the first volume, which is kind of a shame. Next up I have here is Fuku Fuku Funya New. Volumes 1 and 2. This is by the creator of Cheese Sweet Home, as I said earlier. I need to get the rest of this series. Um, I believe it's only like 8 volumes. So I would like to get the rest of it when I can. When I can. So next up I have here is Cheese Sweet Home. Volume 1. To volume 12 complete. Really cute series, very simple to read. I really like this one a lot. So next up I have here is Doraemon Color. Volume 1. Volume 3. And volume 6. Not the complete series, but I'm still working on it. And then last up here, I have Joshi Kaosei, Volume 1. And I have Volume 7. This is uh, not up to date. I'm currently, I think, two volumes behind. I do plan on getting the rest of the series. Uh, that's available in my next Amazon Japan order, which will hopefully be soon. So that completes this row. Um, I'm going to put this on a smaller tripod and I'll show you guys what's on. I'll show you guys what's on the bottom row of this shelf. Alright, so this is the fourth and final row of my Japanese shonen manga bookshelf tour. And that's uh, just a small section here of shonen manga. As, as you can see, the rest of it here is just my English volumes. So anyways, let's get right on to it. Um, first up here, I have Baymax, Volume 1, based from Big Hero 6. Next up I have here is Iga no Kagemaru, Volume 1. A very old comic series from Shonen Sunday. And I have Buyuden, Volume 1. Toraburu. Volume 1 of 2, Volume 4. I want to get more of this series, it's pretty funny. And I have Boku wa Galileo, Volume 1 of 2, Volume 6. I want to get more of this series, it's pretty simple to read. And I have Tokoku, another simple series to read. And I should get the second volume if I can find it. And I have Nagasarete Airanto, Volumes 1 and 2. Then I have Mahaljin Guru Guru, Volume 1. And I have Volume 2. I found this series kind of difficult to read in Japanese, so that's the reason why I have only two volumes. And I have this um, Furoku manga of Pokemon. And I got a uh, Koro Koro comics issue, 
it's just um like a little four coma strip and then like a it's like a combination of a pokedex and a comic which is kind of cool and then i have an extra chapter of yokai navi luna that came with my um special edition volumes of yokai navi luna and I have two volumes of Koneko no Chi, Kyo no Koneko no Chi, volumes 1 to 2. Still need to get the rest of the series, super cute. Next up I have here is Dragon Ball, the anime manga. This is a kind of a really cool volume. It's um, got the characters listed in here. I've had this book for a very long time, and you can tell I didn't really take good care of it. I've had it since I was a kid. So I've had that one, and then I've had this one since I was a kid as well. This anime manga. It's a huge Dragon Ball fan when I was younger. Of course, I couldn't read any of this back then. I can read some of it much better now. And last up, I have a random volume of Real, and uh, there is no furigana in this manga, so I find it a bit difficult to read, as you can see here. Um, I mean, there is some furigana, but not much. So I can't really read kanji without uh, furigana, so that's why I only have one volume of Real. So yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up my... Uh, bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed. Here's one more little overlook of my bookshelf. And there you go. It's just four rows. Anyways, that's all for now. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do in my next video. I might do a collection video of my Japanese books since it's been a while since the last video. So anyway, until the next one, I guess I'll see you guys then. Take care.